Okay, class, today we're going to make a Coke can. I'm filming this live in front of a studio audience. Hear that laughter in the background? Yep, me too. There is none. Oh, well, there's one. All right, so we're going to make a soda can. So here we go. Start off. File new. This time we're going to do metric. So choose metric. The one you need to choose is standard mm.ipt. So make sure you find that before you go. You guys good? Standard mm.ipt, the one on the right hand side. Once you got that, click create or double click it either way. Did everyone find it? We good? Okay. All right. So, same as always, start to sketch. Nothing else looks any different. Just metric. It's just numbers. Is all it is. Just harmless numbers. I'm going to start off by drawing a rectangle. Please use the middle as your foundation. The top is 30. The side is a big old 120. So, 30 by 120. So, go ahead and do that first. Right, next up, we're going to draw an arc. Okay, this is going to be kind of a little tricky arc. So, if you click arc up here, it's right by circle. Here's what I want you to do. Look at the bottom left-hand side of your can here, on this rectangle. Click on one of the lines, click on the bottom line, and then dump it. We're going to put it in the exact spot here in a moment. But the most important thing is make sure that when you click on it, you see these dots, which means you are clicked onto the lines. All right, here's the next step. You go into dimension. Go from the middle dot here that we work from to the left side of the arc. Dump that, type 8. Dump that and type 8. Then the next one you do, and then I'll pause, is go from the right side to the other dot, and that will be 10. Next step, dimension again. You should be on already. Click on the arc. Dump it. Change it to 50. Change it to 50. All right, next we're going to do some trimming. Trim under the arc, both these lines. Yes, it's hard to see, but you can tell if you try to click on it again, there is nothing there. Okay, let's escape. Next we're going to do a chamfer. Okay, so everyone look up here. Those watching at home, look up here too. Chamfer is under fillet. It. It, it's hiding. Okay, there's a little trick to chamfer. So everyone watch me first. You change that to 8. Do not press enter. If you press enter, it'll exit out. Don't press enter. Choose chamfer. If the dialog box is up, you can change. If the dialog box is gone, you can't do anything. Click that where the 10 is and that, and it should make a chamfer for you. Press OK. OK, next step. Go to the very top of your can. Zoom in on the top right-hand corner. Here's where we... So a lot of times I say this in Vinter, you dump and draw and fix later. That's what's going to happen right now. We're going to dump and draw and fix it later. Later is going to be like in two minutes. So choose line. Watch what I do here. You're going to click somewhere up the top. Draw a little triangle that looks something like this. It does not have to be exact. You're just going to draw this out, and then we're going to put measurements to put it like in the exact spot later. Okay? So everyone do that for me, please. Okay, next step. We are going to dimension this little thing. So I don't even think I did this on the video. Well, I'm going to do it right now. We're going to draw a little triangle right here. It doesn't really matter how big it is. Just dump it on here. The main important things are that, the, are that if you click on the line, that these dots show up. Okay, we're going to do a dimension now. Click the top line. Choose the end of this. Dump this. Type 1 and press Enter. Okay. Next, we're going to do it again. You're going to hit the top of the line again. And this time, I'm going to press this one right here. I'm going to bring this over and hit 2 and press Enter. Now I need to remember what the other one is. That's not it. The other one is, why don't I know this? I think it's five. It's eight. Okay, oops, I was wrong. Okay, so last step, and then I'll walk around and I will assist. Choose on dimension. Choose the top line again. Choose this bottom dot right here. 
This should be 8. And then hopefully we should be good. I'm going to pause my video. Okay, we're going to add one more measurement. We're going to dimension from this line here to the peak of this and set that at 3. So we're going to choose this line here and then the peak of this triangle and set that as 3. And then last step is just to trim out this area right here. Your measurement might go away and that's okay. If As long as yours looks like this, then you're fine. So don't worry about it. Okay, finish sketch. And now we're going to do a revolve. You guys remember this? Choose revolve. All you have to click on is this edge right here. Make sure you click on the right edge. Don't choose the edge that has the arc on it, not the one that has the chamfer on it. Then press OK. That's all you have to do on that. And while we're working, if you want to change the color of your can, go ahead. I really don't care what you change it to. Glossy black. You want to do aluminum. Do whatever you feel like. Polished diamond plate. No, that looks dumb. Polished clear. Nope, that's clear. Why do I want clear? Oh, that's even worse. Anyway. Change the color. Nickel. There we go. Got that? Just up here, just change it. Uh, the next step I'm going to do on this is a fillet. I'm just going to fill up the two little bottom things right here just so they're rounded. You don't want sharp edges on here. I'll do this one right here too. So just choose these edges here and fill it, these little edges right there. And I don't, and I'm just going to leave it at the two millimeter default. So press OK. Fill it down here. Just click on the edges of these two. And then click up here. Okay, once you got that done, do me a favor. Go online. And I need you guys to find a label. Okay? Label, a picture, something you want to put on the side of a can. I don't care. It could be like a lost child one. I don't care. Have fun with it. Whatever. If I'm just going to keep it simple, I can do a Coke can. Uh, uh, I'll just be boring here. Coke label. Just don't have it be alcohol, and we're fine. Coke label if you want to. I just can't do it. I'm going to do something Simpsons. There we go. Doesn't really matter what you want to do. Just do it. I'll do this. Why not? All right. So do me a favor. Right click and save this someplace where you can grab it here in a minute. So I'll save it someplace where you can find it. All right. So do that. I'm going to pause my video real quick. Okay, before we put the label on, we have to make a new plane, and you haven't made, made one of these yet. So what I need you to do first is expand out the origin so you can see all these planes here. Okay, now watch me do this, and then you do it. You hit the plane icon, choose X, Y, then choose the front of your can, and a plane will pop up. Okay, next step, click on the work plane itself. You got to click on the edge, otherwise if you click the middle, nothing happens. Click on the edge, choose create sketch. Choose create sketch. Okay, now looking on my screen here, I want you to click on image. Click on image, go find your image. Go find your image. Dump it on your screen. Then what I need you to do is you might have to expand it out. So grab a corner. It may not wrap around the whole thing because of the size of the image and the can, but it'll be close enough. So get it to where it's centered in your can. That way, when you go to wrap it, it'll just go right around it. Try not to keep it on the top and bottom because sometimes it'll get an error if it doesn't see the surface. So like, go ahead and do that and press finish sketch. 
then you have one more step and then you are finished. Okay, last step is this. We got your uh, little label right here. Here's what you gotta do. Click decal. Decal's up underneath the tool and manage the little tabs up here. Choose decal. Click wrap to face. All you have to do is click your picture, click the can, press OK, it'll wrap it around, and you're done. Now mine was big enough to fit on the whole thing, but there you go. Go ahead and save this as soda can and turn it in. You are done. See you in the next video. Bye.